And that dropped a bit of a bombshell on, on the Shannon Aaron. Yeah, it certainly was a vote of confidence in his own members in Shannon Aaron, who I believe are doing an excellent job. The Shannon is a very effective body as far as legislation is concerned. I was uh, Minister of State when I was Minister of State. I brought true legislation in Shannon. I must say that we have people like Mary Robson there at the time and others that were very involved and active in relation to legislation. And uh, I indeed amended bills through the Shannon because they made a great contribution. And uh, I feel reform is right. I, I agree with a reform of the Shannon. I have no objection to a directly elected Shannon. But to retain both houses, I think, is imperative actually. And furthermore, you know, democracy comes at a price, and people fought to have our parliaments in Ireland. And people shouldn't throw it away lightly. Furthermore, under the Lisbon Treaty, voted on the 2nd of uh, October, gives the Oireachtas much more say in uh, European legislation. And the Shannon is the ideal location to bring process all legislation from Europe through the Shannon, because the all, quite frankly, wouldn't have enough time to process this. And under the Lisbon Treaty, is one of the benefits of the Lisbon Treaty, that within the pub immediate publication of legislation, it is sent to each parliament, and each parliament can make submissions uh, to the Commission, have amendments made, and indeed through our MEPs. So the role will be further enhanced, and quite frankly, I think that it's a retrograde step. Uh, I think that uh, people should respect the fact that we have a, a very active democracy, and people get tremendous representations. And I myself brought forward a private member's bill called the Registration of Wills Bill in 2007. This bill was passed by the Shannon. Now the Law Society are obstructing it, going to the Dáil. And mind you, I think they are questionable their activities in relation to some of their members who have created terrible fraud. They should look after their own business, but they don't want to see the Registration of Wills Bill for some unknown reason. And again, uh, the fact that we could get a bill through the Shannon there. So there are other prime members bills have been initiated in the Shannon as well, and uh, right. there's another vehicle. Well, that's a very extreme uh, solution to the situation. Bear in mind the history of this, uh, the Shannon. The original 1920 Shannon was uh, abolished by M. de Valera, and in 1937 he brought it back. So he was a very shrewd and wise legislator, and the people of Ireland voted uh, for the Shannon at that stage. So. I don't, I, I don't think it's a runner. Uh, it certainly concentrates the minds now in relation to reform of the challenge, and I think by the time the next general election comes, there should be meaningful reform carried out in the challenge, and again, getting more involved in European legislation, and giving it a vehicle to process, for instance, appointments to state boards, and such like, could be a worthwhile exercise for a challenge. And by the way, I see no reason why half the joint committees couldn't be abolished. I prefer to have all the committees abolished, and yet retain the challenge and it would save a similar kind of money involved. So, quite frankly, I don't think it will happen. I think it's a retrograde step. I think it was an ill-conceived, I think it was ill-conceived, illogical and idiotic, his proposal last Saturday night.